Well, we're gonna start here. In today's video, that is what we're gonna go tour. That is the USS Albacore submarine. <coughs> one of the smaller submarines in the fleet nowadays and they just received this into the museum this is called the ghost and it's like a hydrofoil type of uh, machine a test platform that they used and uh, there's a website on a pamphlet they gave me we'll uh, I'll put it in the link below. This thing's pretty neat, actually. So we get to go into the USS Albacore and walk through it. You know how many people get to tour a submarine in their lifetime? And they said everything is photography and videos are encouraged. So, yeah, yes. They kind of welded some buoys on or some doors on these things so you can get in and out easily. So going into the submarine. Hit my head already. Birthing. I'm into birthing. This is the way they get in and out when they're in port. It smells like a ship in here. More birthing back over in this area. about tight quarters go through this hatch here big old big old hatch in here Ugh. gotta watch your head for sure walking through here and then looks like a little galley kitchen there more birthing problem probably the captain's quarters because it's got actual room in it there's a sub crew eight. Oh, this is actually the wardroom slash slash uh, meal time Birthing. They got their own little deal in here. I still haven't seen a bathroom though. The ship's office. Really tiny. But complete with chair and everything. More birthing. A 
And then you got your filing cabinets stuck in here. Hatches go down, it looks like. There's a radio room. You can hear the radio going off. Typewriters. Imagine the day. The officer's shower. Red light. Very basic needs. The hatch is open. There's like I guess the only toilet in the in the sub. I'll go through this little hatch. Make sure you don't hit your head because these things don't move. That's for sure. Uh, control room. Control room with maps. All the valves and stuff associated with it. Ah. Periscope. Can we see anything up the periscope? Uh, yep, we sure can. I don't know if I can get it on camera. But, you actually see up the periscope. You just got to get it just right. I'm sure they're more advanced these days. You can see the daylight. And the periscope goes all the way up there. And then you got your control rooms down here. Dive and rise. Almost like you can hear a whale. Actually climb down into the engine bay room if you wanted to. Probably hear the engine on this thing when it was going in its heyday. Keep walking aft. Gyro compass. Radar room. Moving more aft. These bulkheads are thick. I mean thick. This thing must weigh a ton. Oh, this is actually the galley back here. Cooktop surfaces, sinks, mixers, coffee, a must have. Oh, I had to go to other museums. This is actually galley, not the wardroom. It's where the crew eats. And they still got controls back over in here. And this shows what everything is. Not a lot of space to move around in here. Some more birthing back through here. Just tight quarters, my goodness. Back in here. A pretty sizable crew for this sub. Pictures of the day when it was uh, actually in service. <clears throat> Another historical Navy picture. A 
guys can kind of read through that. I don't know how to better take in the pictures on video, but uh, there's a door coming from the cruise mess. There's another couple of toilets back over in here. And it looks like we go on our way down. The gentleman told me to make sure I hold on to that rail as I'm going down these stairs. This is the engine room, I think. Because he did say I was going to go down some stairs. One engine there. It says there was a person up there that sat in that chair and speed and direction of the two propellers were controlled from this place. I guess when this door is closed. Get up there. I guess you can pause the video to read up on the engine if you want to know about it. Keep working our way back, and they said down there you'll lose stuff, things will drop down there, and you'll never get it back. So he said, make sure you take care of that. You can see all the little areas down there that, for things to catch into. Matter, imagine a modern day sub isn't like that. But you can see all the way to the back. Just how they had to live back here. I mean, it's all just a big machine with some sleeping areas in it. Areas you can drop stuff down and down there. Goes all the way to the back. This big shaft right here goes all the way out of the submarine and I mean they got flooring all the way back to the bulkhead so I would assume that they even had to work back in here and then they got the exit door here it's a little hard to climb over this thing Ginormous power plants, huge bulkheads. Goes down to the belly of the beast. I bet you there's stuff underneath this flooring that helps power this thing. Big old huge power plant and blades. 